G'day everyone, welcome back to Nat's Knackers Yard. I'll be Nat, this will be my Knackers Yard. That'll be a XJ650, kinda. That'll be the engine. Um, and I will continue with, hopefully, doing the split today. Um, I did finish the last one questioning whether or not to take the pistons off. You may notice one is off. Um, uh, there's a couple of guys saying, well, if you're gonna split, it's gonna make dragging the pistons through more difficult but I think more importantly the book says <laughs> and I'm trying to keep it um, uh, as close to as possible because I don't know any better uh, there's no fucking secret there at all um, now I do have a specialist tool uh, made out of the finest trinesium um, I've had it for a year or well, probably two years I've got it for a Kimco um, scooter that I was doing I just could not get the pin out I shouldn't need it for this I don't really it's a bit stiff this obviously broke the first time I used it, but I've kind of bodged it together. Basically, it's just got reverse thread on one end, straight thread on the other, put the puller on, push it down, and it pulls it through. Um, uh, I've done, I've had to bodge a repair because it just pulled straight out of the uh, material before. Um, right, let's get it set up and I'll show you how I did it to the other one uh, fairly late last night. Right, there's about as good a view as I can get you. I've just jammed a spanner there to stop the, uh, well, I'll show you, just to try and hold it in a decent position because you'd lose it behind the dowels, studs or whatever they call. Um, my terminology is crap, people. Um, I called the previous one a cylinder head and it's a cylinder block. Uh, but hey, uh, we're all learning. Um, and there's a little clip around the end of the Uh, pin, gudgeon pin. I've just heard my camera collapse. Right, camera's back. <laughs> Everything's a bit of a hokey setup in uh, in Acker's yard. Get the pin out. Now I should replace that. Try and remember to replace that now. So I'm open on one end. I'm going to grab my tool, excuse the pun, so essentially wind it out. Again, shouldn't need this, should just be able to push it through. The previous one was just a bit shitty. Uh, probably do with, I'll probably be able to do this just, bloody reverse threads confuse me every time. Uh, I get confused when it's threads upside down. Um, so it's just a push through. Secure on the other side. Need a little bit more. So I don't risk dropping this piece in my hand in the engine block, which is a, a risk. Particularly when you're as clumsy as I am. That's a reverse thread nut. You fucking moron. That really shouldn't confuse me as much as it does. Right. I might not actually need to screw down the tool, I could just use it to pull, but it's a little bit little bit stiff. I just spun it the wrong way. Talking about <laughs> reverse threads, I convinced myself that the top was a reverse thread.
Reverse thread, nah, fuck's sake. There we go. There's the pin, still nice and clean. A little bit of light rust, but nothing that concerns me. There we go. Piston off, doesn't look too bad. May end up replacing the rings and the light, but they're all yeah, free spinning, free moving. Right, I've got my little there. Uh, zoom you back out. Oh, down on the floor, I've got my little, got my little drawers. like and can measure it. Right. No, I'll probably just fast forward you here frankly. But let me get the other the remaining two out. I wish I thought of this block before it makes life so much easier. Okay, that last one just pulled straight out. No. Reverse thread net, you fucking idiot. Um, yeah, just pulled straight through. Didn't really need to pull it at all. I'm good, Nick. Um, you don't need this tool, but if you find these are stuck like I did with my... Um, project probably three years ago now what you don't want to be doing if you've got anything stuck is trying to bang it through because you're putting a lot of sideways force on something that's designed not to take it <laughs> it's designed for I don't know uh, front back um, you know the same plane as the bike so banging it that side is not um, is not big it's not big it's not good or clever um, yeah, so in the grand scheme of things, a fairly useless tool. But like most of these, you know, I mean, it's a threaded bar, <laughs> that's all it is really. But um, like most of these tools, when you need them, you need them. Um, I, I don't recall how much this was, but it's made of cheap rubbish material. It was probably next to nothing. Um, I'm not even sure that my my eBay memory goes back that far to look it up for you, but um, yeah, uh, a gudgeon pillar or a piston pin puller. I can't remember what it was listed as. But you'll probably get one decent use out of it, and then you'll be codging it together with washers. Uh, like I am. Right, I'm going to put this away somewhere where I'll forget about it for another year or so and then sit in my living room and think, hang on, <laughs> I've got a tool for that. There we go, in the deep recesses of the bottom drawer. Right, let me consult the manual of knowledge and work out how we start getting to this. I can see I can see air through an engine. That's unusual. See this is a lot of the reason I've done this. Let me grab you down. Because I know this shit. I know how this stuff works but I've never seen it. So let's take you through a cycle. Or half a cycle because I don't want to spin it too much. Just fucking fascinating. Nice and easy, nothing's catching. Yeah. Sweet. Cool. 
cool. Right, let's get the manual out. Right, I've had a bit of a tidy up on the bench. Um, I did find an answer to a question last night as I was flipping through the book on how to get rid of this blade, and it does say to remove it before. Um, Slack it off first. It does, this is a uh, has been a, a vexing issue uh, throughout. Uh, camshaft tensioner should be removed. Tensioner blade can be removed after this uh, can be removed after the stop bolt and lock nut would project from the uh, have been slackened off. So I'm trying to slack it off. not take it off. Yeah. Just spin that round so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, it was an afterthought then as I was getting set up. easier not to move oh I see so he's just wedged in under that bolt right that's handy let's get that put away with the rest right that's fine Pushes down into a recess at the base. Right, fine. Let's get this spun around again. Right. I'm just orientating this the same way as it is on the book just to try not to confuse myself Oops. right I'm trying not to jam into that um, oil filter Right, now I think this is numbered. Now I think this is numbered uh, for putting it back together because it does say, there's the little map as usual. Uh, crankcase secured by 38 bolts, fuck me. Uh, bolts shown in figure 9.9 to 1.9, which as you showed, starting with the upper crankcase, which is what I've got, slacken each bolt in sequence by about half a turn at a time to prevent distortion. Repeat the sequence until every bolt is no more than finger tight and then remove completely. Uh, so just say start at 38 and working backwards. So 38, do 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 do. I will. Fast picture here, they're a mixture of sizes. As you would hope, because you wouldn't want it simple, would you? Well, that's quite loose. So, that was fucking near finger loose already. Okay, 37, 36. So, it's all the way across the back bar. and those to get that out.
Well, they're numbered. The numbering is etched on. <laughs> That's cool. Why aren't you using your impact driver, Matt? Because my impact driver is shite. <laughs> right, sorry, I had a quick giggle then. I just want to put that there so I remember which did it. Right, so the book says slacking each broken secret, starting at 38 and working backwards. Why is that one number 39 then? <laughs> Fuck knows. Alright, let's just do it logically. It's taking me across the back first. That's the top end done. Turn the unit over, taking care not to damage the timing pointer and allow it to rest on the rear of the crankcase holding nuts. So I need to turn it over. <laughs> Smooth. Right, that's it. Right, bit of a rejig. I saw what it was off, what it was like talking about. Let me see if you can quite see. Let's get you off. Um, basically it was saying, don't leave it rested just on because it's like those two are longer don't work on it rested that way because the sideways pressure is a bad thing so therefore push it up so two of them are supporting it or four I don't like that if nothing else it pushes it at such an angle I can't see into it so I've spun it round it's on blocks it's rested on stubs of the engine without going on the studs it's just now a bit awkward because it's upside down to the picture, but I'm sure I can cope with that. I need access to that one anyway. Right, so I can get you set up and I'll carry on. Right, start at 23. That was possibly harder work than it should have been. <laughs> um, obviously on the underside of the engine this is gunked. Um, I ended up having to push something through the uh, engine block because it just is moving around and uh, desperately try not to damage those stocks. Right, let's flip it back the other way up, the correct way up. Ugh. Back on its stand. I really need to get that stator out. I've got to find a way of getting that done. Um, and then uh, get this uh, bad boy on the move. The one thing I do want to point out though, before I do, um, Lowercase. Let's just do it numerically. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All logical so far. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19. It's now 18. <laughs> I'll probably find where it is when I pull it, try and pull it apart, but uh, certainly on the diagram there's no 18 and I didn't find one either. Right. Right, I've got a container. Right, good omen or bad omen? 
Just made a cup of tea, being careful not to touch anything because my hands were minging. And my cup split. All the water went all over the counter. Now I could say it's a good omen because it's split. But I love that mug, I've had it about, <laughs> about 15 years. Um, fuck. Right. I am going to try with some gloves because I realise how minging I'm getting and I'm making a mess everywhere. I don't like wearing gloves unless I have to. But. Alright, now I'm not going to subject you to all of this, but essentially I'm just going around the map that's on there. 60 mil. It's a 1 1. Stack a W on where there's a washer. One, 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 one. Two is uh, it's, uh, 67 mil. And I'll do that all the way around and I'll jump you back in when I get to the other side. Right, slight change of plan. To get to one of the bolts, I've had to go at the stator. I've had to be a little bit rougher than I wanted to, but I think I've got away with it. It just needed prying out. Uh, so, yeah, yeah it's and it's prying against aluminium surface which I don't like doing but the thread is you know all the way back in there so it's less of an issue but it's be a little bit rougher than I would have liked um, but yeah it was just wedged in because of you know years of shit there's nothing fundamentally wrong with it, it just needs a clean out right I'm going to get back on with releasing this top half right let's just catch you up because it's much later because I've been out it's a lovely sunny day been out with the missus and kids um, what did you miss? Uh, I found another bolt that's not annotated on the map, so I've added it, and I reckon it's 18. It's the one that I couldn't find before, so I whipped that out. That's fine, um, giving it a little bit of a knock around, uh, and then I had to stop uh, for various things. But I'm about to crack back on uh, with that, and I will be right back. Right, so I found a good vantage point, which is under there. Give it a couple of taps, and it started to bounce out. One thing that I did notice was someone's tried it there before and done a really dodgy repair. Now it's missing a lug, it's always been missing a lug. But somebody has somebody's tried this before, successfully or unsuccessfully, which is a bit frustrating. Fortunately it's nicely hidden and it's not an essential component, but yeah, now the question now is what comes away with and what comes away without. Less what should, more what will. So let's get you set up and we can all laugh at me. Let's see what happens here then. Shall we? Grab a chair so I'm nice and high. A bit dark. I missed the light. There we go. Right now, as I understand it, uh, what does the good book say? Not a lot on this, to be told. Now, ready for separation. And support it to the bed, to the bench. Particular way I can strap the off helicopter. I can strap it to the bench. Um, yeah, yeah. As the lower crankcase is free, check that the crankshaft, input shaft, and middle gear shift remain in the inverted. So input shaft, so I should be dropping that amount of it. Selector drum, selector forks contained within the lower and should come with it, so the gubbins here should come with. Right, let's see what happens here then, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen. I'm not quite free on this corner. Go for a bit of wedging action. Coming away now. Mm. 
What are you stuck on? It's so close. something in the corner by the uh... Uh, by the crank uh, nothing like shutting a stable door get my gloves on I realise I've left my tea in the kitchen so I'll get my gloves on slurp my tea and have this. Aha. Aha. Oh, and we have success. Lashings and lashings of success. <laughs> I can't put this down now. Put it, I don't want bits falling off it. Should have cleared a space first. I've got nowhere to put it. Right. Yeah, that you pick up every fucker. Woo! Look at this. This is my fucking stripped down engine. Right, where's the start of that? Uh, oh, the can chain had actually come off. This housing. He's back on. Happy with all of that. I think this can. that out complete ah and I think right the way in there I think that's my starter clutch he says that's the starter through there yeah oh dear uh, where are we Let's see if I can give you a zoom I don't think they should look like that. <laughs> Where's it gone? Where have you gone? Where's my hand gone? I've lost my hand. Another. Oh. Right, this is fucking incredible. Look, deep in the bowels of an engine. I've never done this before. No, you can't see a thing. Right. That's the main gear, or middle gear, I think. Gear gears. That's the crankshaft. I can just pull out, but I think that's what I need to get to. Right, we have a successful split. Uh, ladies and jelly spoons. Um, yeah, and I can actually start taking shit out, which I'm not going to yet, because I've got to work out what I'm doing, because I don't know. But most importantly, Um, yeah, most importantly, I've got it apart. I now need to work out what the fuck I need to do. Now, I need to dig to the starter clutch, which I'm pretty convinced is that. Because it turns onto the little cog you can see by the fresh air. 
actually I'll wiggle it, you can see it then. There we go. So that's the starter motor. So the starter motor engages onto that. That is the starter clutch that is now turning. Now that's what I need to get into. Which means shit's got to come out. Right, that's sealed on that side. Sealed on that side. Just lift it away. Happy. Uh, let me get a box ready. So, try not to disrupt too much. In you go, big fella. So, I'll leave it orientated the way it was orientated. Don't need to take any of that out, but it gives me a better and closer look at the uh, at the starter mechanism. I don't know if those cogs are off foot, but they don't look great. It's still engaging well enough. Uh, I think I can lift the complete piece out, but I don't really want to because I don't know how the chain goes, but I'm going to have to do some reading. But, look at that. gearbox lifting. I haven't got a full one either. I wonder if it's just a locking. Oh well, I'll find out one way or another. Keep all that together. input shafts be lifted and put away using an impact driver slack and remove the three countersunk screws which hold the bearing housing on and the inner face of the alternator housing. Hold the starter clutch. Right, so use an impact driver but I'm just using an impact nut. Let's drop you actually, Let's get you down to a more reasonable height. some prick Moses lawn because that means I'm going to get told to do ours shortly. Right, so that's you kind of wedged. So there are the three bolts that I've taken out. Behind there there is a small oil jet. If you can see, that's the one it's talking about. So uh, sack and then hold the starter clutch and sprocket the sender in one hand and withdraw the bearing housing the other side. Right. Hold the fucking press. Stop. Wait a minute. Thank you very much. Um, I think I found the problem. So, let's, let's go through the ergonomics here a little bit. So, we see bikes in bikes. Engines inverted. That hole there uh, is where the starter motor goes goes in and engages with that cog. So apply power to the engine, that cog turns, albeit in the opposite direction that I'm doing at the moment. Um, that cog engages then into the starter clutch, starter clutch uh, rattles through, blah, 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 starts the fucking pistons going, etc. I don't know, I'm making this shit up as I go along. But the bit that got me is this pin is loose. It doesn't seem to go all the way through that starter motor cog, so that might actually be a dead end, is it? Can't quite see. But it certainly doesn't go all the way through. So I think this has been going on the cock, like that. And when it's on the cock, it's been nipping out the middle of this star cock. Now the bit that makes me really think it's done that is it's dug a fucking great groove in the corner of there. Now, what I don't know is, is it missing something? Because that is a threaded hole all the way through. Is there supposed to be something in there that holds, even that goes all the way through? 
and holds that straight because whatever's happening, that's been going on the cock. That's when it's been sounding like there's a someone to check your keys in the washing machine. And then occasionally it pops back in and it does what it needs to. But because there's either nothing pushing against this and holding that flush, which means maybe there is something pinned across, should be there that's pinned across and holding that in, potentially that should be all the way through. I can't spin it and find anywhere to engage with that cog, which I find strange. It looks like there's a hole behind it. It looks like that pin should go all the way through. Maybe I should just whelk it with a hammer. Probably not the right idea. I need to do some research and work out what it is, but that's been moving to the side. That's when it's been digging the chunks out the middle of here, which I thought was a bit strange. And that's when it's been sounding like a bag of absolute spanners on spin cycle. I think we found the problem. I now just need to go and break dance on the driveway. <laughs> right, I'm gonna cause it a halt, because I know the problem. I now have to work out how the hell I fix it, because that doesn't just push straight back through. That would be way too simple. And I can't feel a recess on the other side. Um, and it looks like a bit of a closed hole badger to me. But I'll have a bit of a, a bit of a research. I don't want to strip it down any more than I currently have to, although if I'm going to spray it and that sort of thing I probably should, although frankly I'll probably end up just putting it back together and then spraying it as a whole <laughs> because I'm fucking lazy. No, no, I want to try and do it properly but we shall see. But I can't quite see what is going on there, whether that's just a pressure fit. I don't just want to twat it with a hammer. That's in, oh, that's holding. There is something going on here, boys and girls. I can't just pull it out. Mm. Maybe that is like that. Maybe there should be something in there holding that. go back at the videos and look because that's a little screw thread there maybe if there was something on there to hold it pinned in and maybe there isn't a recess because if it's pinned in like that can that still no that engages I'm gonna have to have a look sorry by pinned in so on that side there is a screw thread now if there's something that theoretically goes zoom and pins that on there and that will hold it in the right position. Oh, I don't know. I do not know. I'm going to have to go back and have a research because that's, de I mean, that's definitely what's happened. There is, I can see a screw thread all the way through there. That has been allowed to go like that. It's been scratching against it and it's taken little divots out of each one of those wheels. But if you just if it goes back to where it should if that pin so I'm just pushing it with my hand if that pin is pressed then it's fine there is not a problem well bugger me right more reading required but um, that might be it that might be it um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with that information yet but we will see we will see. Right, that'll do me all. Um, been another long one, and I'm going to have to hack this back. But we've got it in half. We've got access to the starter clutch. I don't know whether or not I need it yet, but I'm fucking adamant that's the problem. I'm absolutely certain that's the problem. I've just got to work out how I fix it. So if anyone, if there's any XJ650 experts out there, that is. That's the magneto side. So that is the clutch side. That is the clutch. Should there be something going over that? It can't just be. I mean, if nothing else, that's. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to dig through the vids. 
the earlier ones because that's potentially amazing potentially look at that <laughs> right that'll do me that'll do me brilliant cheers all I'll catch you later on ta-da